Hey guys, I'm Mike Gasway, LifestyleCorrespondenceGuns.com, and I can't tell you how jack pumped I am today. We're out here at Tracking Point USA in wonderful Pflugerville, Texas. Yes, it's an outskirt north of Austin. I'm sitting here with Eddie Stringer. I mean, he is a gunman extraordinaire, and I, I'm going to give me a little lesson today. Let's go to night mode. Tell me about it, Eddie, and uh, let's talk about what we got. First, tell me what we have here, what type of weaponry we have, and uh, what we're going to do. All right, we've got our Shadow Tracks 6.5 Creedmoor. It's a uh, Woo! 6.5 Creedmoor, baby. Yeah, yes, now sir. We're talking on. Right. So in our night mode right now, what I'm going to demonstrate is how we can range on a target uh, in this simulation out a window here. It's going to give you a point blank range solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to acquire my target across the way here. All right, I'm looking up here on the big giant TV set, and that's what I'm at. You, you are you have acquired the target, have you not? Is that it? Absolutely. So you can stream up to five devices on, at one time. They can see what's going through the scope at that time. Each tag you place on the target over five seconds is going to record, and each video uh, or each shot is going to be recorded with audio and video. Now, when you put a tag on something, in layman's terms, what does that mean? You lock on? Well, what you'll do is you'll acquire your target. You'll do a half trigger pull. It'll give you your tag. You can move it into position, and then a full pull to there drop the full pull to drop the tag. If you're not happy with it, you release the trigger, and it's you can start the process again. Got it. So I'm going to place the tag on there. Well, we've got a sign out there. Let's say that's a that's a god dang. Uh, a 12 point buck out there at uh, <laughs> about what range do we know? I'd say that's probably around 200, 250 yards out All there. Right, that's an easy shot. Here we'll so go. I'm going to line up with it, and as soon as I get that in the center of my crosshair, you'll hear the solenoid engage, simulating it. a shot. Got it. So it's not going to release the round until you're on that. The uh, guided trigger uh, alleviates any trigger jerk or any breathing. So when most folks are pulling the trigger, you know, they might jerk. This ensures an 87% first time hit accuracy. Are we getting any compensation for elevation or wind? Uh, we are. On the bottom you've got your cant, on the side you've got your elevation, and then at the top of the screen there you'll see where it says wind mile per hour. I can dial in left to right or right to left wind. So if I'm simulating a right wind of about four and a half miles an hour, I'll just dial that in and then I'll acquire my target again. And that way when I place my tag and I take my shot, the wind's not going to affect the point of impact. There it is. I could do that hungover, couldn't I? <laughs> Absolutely. We don't recommend it, though. <laughs> there you go. I don't either. That's an amazing um, optic system. Is this uh, is this your standing standard optic system here for uh, Tracking Point? It's our current standard uh, model that we put on all of our systems. We do have a different focus tube on each caliber based on its range. So our small arm ammo systems are two to fourteen. Our uh, six five Creedmoor up through our three oh eight and up to our three three eight Lapua use a. Uh, 3 to 21 optical. Ooh, 338 Lapua, would I love to have one of those. Oh Absolutely. my God, I'm gonna swoon, I think. Hey, now let me ask you, what kind of range are we talking about here? How far can I reach out and touch something? On this particular platform, you can reach out to a thousand yards. Uh, each caliber is based on its ability to, we start seeing deviation on its uh, impact point. So okay. once it uh, reaches transonic, once it starts right. dropping off transonic, right, then right, right. that's where we limit it. So on this particular platform, it's 1,000 yards. On our 338, it's 1,400 yards. On our 308, it's 900 yards. And we've actually got a six, I'm sorry, a 556 that's reaching out to uh, 700 yards. Wow, isn't that amazing? Now, I'm just wondering, all kind of applications for this. Can a guy go to your website and see videos of hunting applications and, uh, and any type of uh, shooting demonstrations? Absolutely. We've got a testimonial page on there with some of our customers who have uh, sent us videos or pictures of them with their rifle and hunts they've gone on. Is that trackingpoint.com? Yes, sir. And you can also go to our Facebook page and uh, see some information on social media with regards to a couple of hunters that have gone out to Africa and done hunts and, and brought back some of their, their trophies. I'm jealous. <laughs> Eddie, thank you, my brother. You bet. I'm Mike Gassaway. I'm with Guns.com. Let's go take another segment somewhere. Let's go take a walk in the plant, and then we're going to talk to the big kahuna, the CEO. Yeah, that's what the kind of stroke I got. I'll see you in a minute.